How do you serve? In concluding his book, Think Like a Monk, Jay Shetty ends with this idea of a life of service. The highest fulfillment that we can get out of life is to serve others. This parallels many things we can see. Our leaders in our local communities, our faith leaders, even lessons from the Bible. Jesus himself talks about the one who is greatest among you will be the one who serves the most. There's the parable of the woman who gives out of her lack. And it's explained that giving out of abundance is good, it's, it's needed, but giving out of lack, that shows a depth of character, that shows this life of service, this life of meaning. And the one who gives even though they don't have much to give, they don't have any to give. The ones that give all, even though it's less than those who are giving out of their abundance, those ones get the biggest reward. And that's what I want to talk about today. How do you serve? How do you find how to serve? I've been blessed to be able to serve on many boards, including our local United Way board, formerly in the last city I was in, I served on the YMCA board. I've served with young professionals, with downtown associations, rotary clubs, and other service organizations. And why do I continue to serve? One, I have a problem saying no. Uh, but more realistically, I get something by giving. It's a little bit selfish. Simply when you give, you feel good about it. You get something in return. It adds meaning knowing that you are affecting the lives of someone else. Maybe someone who couldn't make that change themselves. So as we go about our lives, it's important to remember that what we're really here for is to serve in our jobs, in our families, in our communities. It's great if we can accomplish great things. People may not remember what you do, but they'll remember how you made them feel. When we adopt a servant's mindset, when we adopt a service-based life, people feel that. So I challenge you to do the same. How can you serve?